So last time, because I lost the internet, we just missed out on, on a little bit of conversation. But just to wrap it up, we talked to this lady, Lady Dace. Uh, we showed her documents that she's getting ripped off um, by what's his bucket? Hold on a minute. Uh, Harold Mont. So we showed her that um, that her family is getting ripped off by Haramont because he's promised the same uh, piece of land, I believe, to both her and somebody else. So he can't actually give it to both of them. But if he's king, then he won't be beholden to any of that anyway, so it won't fucking matter. So we talked to her, and she said, Oh, that... Okay. Uh, she said, Oh no, that's pretty serious, but I can't do anything about that because our whole clan decided the only person on their own who can just, you know, say nah would be my dad. But, um... My dad went into the deep roads. He wanted to restore some piece of family history by finding this thing. Uh, so that's where he is. But if you want to go find him in the, you know, the, the den of the Darkspawn, here's a pass. And people will let you in. So I guess that's what we're doing now. I will check what I have in my... Oh, and that. Okay. I... What the f? He wasn't making any noise while I was just walking. What's this? It'll be two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors. How can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Opler. She took the whole house. Everybody but you. So just get over the tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Yeah, Steve. What was that all about? Can you believe it? Ogren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. What do you mean he's barely warrior cast? Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. Ooh. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. So he, so he, he, oh shit. So he was in a duel. So like, ah, first person to hurt the other one wins. And instead of just hurting the guy, he fucking killed him. Uh, what were you and Ogren arguing about? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. Ah, that's the Search coal lady. who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Huh. Why did Bronca go into the deep roads? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. You know, she's not wrong. If I remember, she is the smokeless coal person. How'd she become a paragon? She invented a smokeless yep. fuel that let the smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Nice. Deaths from the black lung also dropped. The assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. Bronca was married to that drunk? Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith. And Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. I see. And that's who you were arguing about. It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads Are we that just... long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but 
Ogryn wants to keep risking lives searching. Okay, so who is Ogryn? Ogryn's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. Bronca's been lost for two years. She is most likely dead. Aye, Paragon or not. Deep roads are no place for a ladysmith. If there was any hope, I meant maybe. anybody, but People okay. Looking. Ogryn just doesn't know how to give up. He did seem rather belligerent. And then some. What he did at that proving was just unforgivable. All Mino sons said was how unlikely it was that a bunch of smiths would return safely from the deep roads. Mm -hmm. Which is true. Ancestors preserve us. That's what the warrior caste is for. But Ogryn claimed it was an insult to a paragon. Next thing, they're in a duel to first blood to defend Bronca's honor. Then Ogryn starts screaming and runs him through. Yike. Well, I should leave. If you see any guardmen, tell them Ogryn was at it again. Well, before that... Give me your money. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was I? Let's see if Ogren is somewhere nearby. Nope. Okay. Cool. Then let's go back down here. I'll sell some junk to the um one of those uh, armor smiths. Get some more gold, and then we'll figure out where we're going next. I think that almost everything leads us straight to the deep roads. Um, do we have to talk to this guy to let him know about the church? The church is good. Church is golden. Yeah, we do. All right, here you go. You can make a church, my dude. Day teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the shaper. He agreed uh, to let you hold prayer meetings. Oh, praise the maker. You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. All right, then. Cool. Bye. All right. Legnar. Like to buy something, I hope. Tell things to you. Coming back to us, Balin's ascension willing. Uh, let me see what you got. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Uh-huh. Oh, good. I've gotten a lot of injury kits from stealing from people. <laughs> Heck is this? Ah. One or two more points to spend on some things. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we have. We got a lot of stuff. I think I need that for quest. I don't need this. Don't need this. I can make some stuff out of that, which I will see to in a moment. I'm gonna sell that. Can sell that. That I can give to somebody else. Hey, Mikey! There you are! Ah! Four Killer Seven has popped in. Hello! He says, yo. yo. How you doing, my dude? I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup before I head out. Just selling some junk. And this is all gifts and booze and stuff and good. All right, cool. Yes, I need to do that. One moment. I also need to turn you up because you were much too quiet last time. Let me pop you back to like a hundred percent. There we go. Hello. Hello. I'm waiting until uh, until Ferb and the others get here so I can show them the surprise. You already know what the surprise is, but I think that they will like it a lot. All right. So here. So what do we have? We can do this, but we're not going to. Um. I need to go to Lord Helmy. So he's somewhere here. Where is that? 
And we'll make that active. Yeah, he's not here. So I have to go back up to that thing. I didn't see him, though I thought I did, so... Let's go to the diamond quarter and find that guy. We found not Steve Bloom. In that it was Steve Bloom. He was arguing with Lolinar over here. It's just a random mm -hmm. noble guy. And then he wandered away. So we don't know where he went. He just says, oh, if you mm -hmm. see guards, tell them that that guy's been up here. So Maybe check the tavern. Oh, tapsters? Back over... Yeah, he might be there. You don't know. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh I'll see Ah, here he is. Help me. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Are you not? Lord help me. Okay, so where's your <laughs> Give me your stuff. Nothing <clears throat> to steal. Already did. Okay, cool. Um so where is your guy. I would have thought he'd be in this building, but I can't actually go in this building. House Haramont. I already went over there. Lord Haramont is the voice of tradition and stability. Hush. That was the other woman I talked to. So where is, uh... Grey Warden arrived. Chamber assembly, and that's the shape, right? And there's not really... He's in Orzammar, most likely to pay respect. Hush your face. Uh, and I can't go any farther over here, I don't think. Those are just regular people. Those are just regular people. That's the shape it, and then this is just a dead end. So yeah, there's nowhere else to go. He wasn't in the shape it. I don't think. I mean, you could double check and just take a look. Yeah, I guess so. And then I'll go into the royal chamber to see if he's in there. If not, I'm not sure where he's at. He's not marked anywhere. <laughs> That's Orta. She has a quest for us. And then everybody else is just a shaper, a scribe, and youth. Alright, so not in here. Let's get started. We. Okay. Maybe he's in here. As you wish. So he's a guy with a name. Well, have you found Lady Dace and Lord Helmet? Uh only Lady Dace's father can change the vote and he's away. Now that's a conundrum. But if I recall, I asked you to change her vote, not tell me how hard it is. Either help or not. It's a small difference to Prince Balin, but it might be quite a large one for you. Who smack you? The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. He might actually be in the assembly itself. All right, let's have it. Ah, there he is. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Geshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore. Balin sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. You know what? Fair enough. All right, cool. So that didn't happen. And I can't go inside anymore. So he wasn't in there.
Okay. Well, then I have no clue where this man is. The royal palace is here. I mean, would he be in here? Uh? He's not marked on my map either, which is a bit concerning. Can't go there. That's all empty hallways, so no, he's not here. Let's get started. <sighs> well, let's go to the bar. Maybe he's there. News of the hour. Lord is yeah, I know, I know. Lord Haramont is. I'm cool and I'm awesome. Bye. Although, maybe he's in, maybe he's in Haramon's house? All right, let's find out. I don't want to help Haramon, but maybe he's in here. Nope, that's Doolin. Guard, guard, noble, noble. Well, there is something we can do in here, at least. <laughs> Hi, don't mind me. Don't worry about it. Absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Bye. He's a butler. He gets to keep his money. I'm not going to talk to you, because you'll just give me quests for horror month. Which is all well and good, except that that's not what we want to have happen. I'll take yeah, your you said you wanted to take your shit. slide with Balaam. Yeah. I'll take his stuff, though. Uh, door. Why did the music get sinister? Yeah. Hi. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. Thanks. But also. <laughs> Ooh. Hopefully, no one will yell at me. Don't. Okay, and the. Ooh. Through the wall? No. Oh, this is an opening. I thought that th I thought that that was like an impact. I leveled up from the box. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Scroll. Nothing. Cool. But I leveled up though. Let's see. We want to keep that uh, strength and dexterity. I'm actually going to increase my constitution just a little bit because for some reason I keep... Uh, Alistair keeps losing threat on stuff and I get my ass beat. So I'll at least increase that a little bit. Uh... Oh, rally now increases attack in addition to defense. Nice. Now everybody will be even better -er. All right, so he's not here. And we only have, like, his niece or whatever hanging around outside. So, I guess I'll just go to the bar and find out if that's where he's at. You have come at a difficult time. Or yeah, I know. Can I talk to your dad? Ha! <laughs> You guys are so unhelpful. You don't even tell me. I can't even ask her where he might be. Ooh. This is open. What's in here? Oh. <laughs> Thugs. Just for the record, I'm not saying anything because I don't want to, to spoil anything. This is one of my, like 
Orzammar itself is my one of my favorite parts of the game. Mm -hmm. I've got you too loud, I think. Mm. Uh, there we go. Well, Ferb's not here yet, so they can't tell me. All right, I have saved, and I am moving. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Uh, how about, um, you try that and I loot your corpse? Because I can do that too. Uh, take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. Damn right I do. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Bye. And give me your money, too. Yeah, if I'd have been able to pickpocket all y'all before this, that would have been ideal. Hi, are you okay? Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. What do you know about Jarva? I, I never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. Hmm. What do you know about her, Carta? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Uh-huh. The cast divide is deep indeed. These cast lists are all the same. Beggars, thugs, and murderers, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Can I see what you have Did for you sale? Have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Yeah, I want to see your I'm stuff. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. P these, these people calling the castless all thieves, uh, like and, degenerates thieves and... and degenerates and stuff brings a, a saying to mind, which is when I, f when I give food to the poor, mm -hmm. they call me a saint. When I ask why they are poor, they call me a communist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's about right. Yeah. Like th th they're like, they are so preoccupied with what the cast lists are. They haven't asked themselves why they are. The yeah. Way they are. Why? Why are the cast lists? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, before I go to the bar, I realized that I can make some nice stuff. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, watching it all just go. Vroom. What do you need for this? Ah, that's right. The distillation agent and the contractor agent. That we get for later. Oh, I have a cracked skull. Ouch. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bless you. Thank you. All right, let's go to the bar and find this guy. Then we will likely dive headlong into the deep roads. Oh, the armorer's shop is now open. Is the guy I'm looking for in here? No, but I have a quest with you. Hi. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Thanks. Looking for a new set of mail. At Janar's, we have everything from leather to platinum. Excellent. Uh, do you have a daughter named Dagna? I has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. Oh, she's the one who wants to go to the surface. No, she hasn't been any bother. Uh, I'd like to help her study with mages. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her cast. 
that you'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just a childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Uh-huh. Interesting. Well, we have that option now to tell her to give up. I don't know about telling her to give up, though. I feel like it wouldn't be fair. Hmm. Tell me! You're the cool guy I saw before. That's right. Hi. I wasn't expecting you back. Oh, excuse me. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Yeah, uh, I have some news for you. Oh. Well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. So you'll switch your vote to... Oh, why vote for Harmon if you don't want the land? I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same, well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Yeah, they both suck, but at least one of them is more progressive, I suppose. And if the cast list can have a better life... Actually, wait a minute, I was looking to see if that, that other guy came down here. Uh. Hey, Ogren. How be ye? What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. Mm -hmm. Someone saw you talking to Vartag Gavorn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Bronca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. All the rest of whom? Power-hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Is that who Bronca is? She's the Paragon? City's only living Paragon, and she's been lost in the Deep Roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. Why do you care, huh? You looking to uncover all her secrets? Is that what Balin wants? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? What are you talking about? What technology? You are looking for it. Of course. That's all anyone can I'm not, about. though! Well, sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. But I want to help you. Sod off, Duster. <clears throat> Should I reload or was that inevitable? Uh, I don't think you have to reload. Um, you haven't helped Balon in town yet, so. You don't. You don't even have a pass to the deep roads right now, do you? Yes, I do. That that girl gave me one because her dad's in the deep roads. Yeah, you need to go find him, and you also need to take care of, of whatever Balin wants. 
Yeah, I have to go speak to Lord Onward Ace in the Deep Roads. So Yeah. Uh so there there are so you'll see when you try to go into the Deep Roads that um it's a lot like the world map, mm -hmm. but underground. Okay. So uh there are multiple like multiple locations that you can uh, go in. Okay. All right. Uh so then I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll track down who took the book here. He's over in Dust Town, probably. See if I can't get that quest from that dude. I don't think I've got uh, enough money for that yet, though. Well, maybe I do. We have 22 gold now. So let's quick save and see if I can accept this quest. For you. You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. I'm Lenari, I'm a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Possibly. Maybe I have that opportunity, especially for someone with a few connections. You have enough coin for this? Probably. Uh, you I can have... negotiate him down to 40 sovereign. Oh, then no, I don't. As long as you keep your eyes... You want to reload them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. I have 22 gold. I don't have 40. Yeah, you want you want 40 sovereigns. Oh! You'll make your you'll make plenty of money back though. Ah, bald with tattoos on face. Hello. What do you want, warden? You're out of your element down here. Did you steal a book? Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Uh-huh. Too bad for me, huh? He didn't even bring friends! It's just him! And he's dead. Ah, a lost betting receipt crumpled in anger. There's only printed in the proving ground. Something tells me that's where he is. All right, then. So the next place is the Proving Ground. Which I think was in session. Oops. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't go the wrong way. There we go. Don't worry, little friend. I'm not going to talk to you just yet. I want to go and talk to the mages and get you in there before I give you the option. All right, so this is the proving. You know, of all the mages I've met, you have to be the first one I can honestly say I really like. <laughs> Why, thank you, Alistair. I am quite touched. I like you too, Alistair. I imagine my son would have grown up to be someone like you. Your son? I thought you said you were never married. Doesn't mean I didn't have a son. I never have been. I... Oh. Then this wasn't... Before you joined the circle. <laughs> I joined the circle at the age of nine. So, no. Do you still like me? Uh, yes. Why wouldn't I? Good. It appears you got away from the Chantry just in time. Oh. I hope she wasn't separated from her son because he turned out to be a mage also. <clears throat> this should be easy enough. Sucks if that's the case. Alright, let's see. Thurik. Well, you're the only one with a... Oh, no, never mind. He is not. Hi! Did you steal a book? Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. I guess you've watched a lot of provings then. Front row seats at every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. Name's Varek. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roost and Tig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. I see. Have you ever fought in one? Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. I see. 
So the proving's just a tournament? Sure. Like King Endrin was just a noble. A proving is a sacred art. Any dispute brought to the proving round is settled by the ancestor's decision, and no one can protest it. Okay, what are the rules? They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. I see. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Uh... Okay, so there's nothing on it. It just is a receipt. Hi. If you're looking for seats, speak with a guardsman. Okay, I would like to speak to you. Do you know? We're opening the roster in a few hours. All right then. Um. Can anybody help me? Aha. Whoa! Okay. Immediately, we, we didn't even need to ask. It just happened. Only one to stand. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> You're not gonna help? No? Okay, cool, great. And there's the Shaper's book. I will give that back to them. You know what? None of you help me. I'm taking all your shit. You just decided to sit around and watch me get attacked. By shit that you knew was underhanded. Fuck you. On my way. Give me your stuff. I don't know what I got from him. There was no pop-up. These are all the people who are going to be in the proving, right? I think that's who they all are. As you like. Nope. Well then. Okay. Well, now that that's been settled, let's get the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> let's go and give this book back to the shape bread. And then I think we can head... Um, do you think I should finish up stuff here before I go to the circle and talk to them about that girl? Or do you think that going on a detour that way is fine? Yes, I was, generally. It was peaceful and it gave me a new start. No one knew who I was, but sometimes I am glad I am away and back on the road. There were bothersome things about the place. Well, bothersome people. Some of the brothers and sisters would talk to you like... Like the chant they spoke was more pleasing to the Maker. Oh, I hated the way they talked down at me. So sometimes I've your lips say, as long as your heart is true. You just seem like... Oh, I may die next um. year, or I may die... Whoa, what? It, whoa. ...by a bandit's arrow. I, I think you're missing the point, my dear. The Chantry believes the chant of life <coughs> should be spread around the world. You cannot spread it if those that are speaking the chant are speaking it incorrectly. But I came to the Maker before I had even heard all of the chant. The Maker speaks to people. They just don't know how to listen. It is all a power game, I think. If they convince others they know more, then they must be respected. Ah, oh, child. It is precisely this kind of talk that made them wary of you. Opinions that differ from your own are always threatening. Um, that's a little close-minded one. I mean, to, to a certain extent, she's right. People do treat opinions that differ from their own as threats. It's, oh, yeah. natu it's a natural tendency for people. Oh, I was referring to the, well, that's why I'm wary of you part of that statement. Where I'm like, uh, 
I think that we have long since proven that there is nothing to be concerned about when it comes to her. A new offensive is required against the dark. So we go to shape it, we give book That's the assembly. There we go. I keep almost hitting the space bar, which would pause the game, because I keep forgetting I can't jump. Hi, found the book. You found it. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. You're welcome. Anyway, do you think I should talk to the circle before I go down into the deep roads, or should I just complete talk awesome? To... Talk to who? The circle, about the girl who wants to study there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Before I before I do anything here. So okay, then we'll go do that real quick and then we'll jump into the deep roads because we got we got plenty of time to go do that. We do 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 Hush Man, that guy can talk loud. That's what they do, my guy. Ferb! Welcome back from your appointment. I'm glad you feel great. You know what, Ferb? You're in time for a surprise. I was waiting for you or Zeno to get here because you guys have been uh, hanging with us the whole time. So I think it is time to show you a little something. Are you ready? Are you also ready, Mikey? I was born ready. You'll see it on the stream best. Brace yourselves. Ta-da! This is Nugget. He is a Nug. <laughs> Furby screaming. <laughs> Thank you. I thought so, too. I figured that he could be our little buddy on our little adventures. I got to resize him if I can remember. Whoa, don't do that. If I can remember how to do. There we go. Yeah, the nug is in the mud. Well, this mug nug is nice and clean. Weep. Let's see. Scoot him down a bit. Scoot him down so his little feetsies are sitting on the menu bar. And let's go to zoop. Should I put him on my head? <laughs> Should I put him upon my head? Well. He doesn't really sit quite right. I can put him up above me. Hold on a minute. I gotta move my, my model down. Okay. Now he's on top of me. Okay. He won't move with me, but he is on top of my head now. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him there for now. And uh, if it would look better, if that's in the way, which I don't think it will be, but if we need to move him, we can do that. He'll just, he'll float there, using his magical nug powers to not be moved when my head moves. <laughs> right. His name is Nugget. He is cute, he is pink, he is foozy, and he's got a little ball. I love him. He's so cute. I heard about what happened and I... I don't really know what to say. But I feel like I need to say something. Sorry, perhaps. I do not need sympathy. So do not feel... I wish she'd turn and look at her. We all die, Liliana. And we all know it. How is this different? Because... because it's sooner? Is it really? I may die next year or I may die tomorrow. Shot through the heart by a bandit's arrow. I do not know for sure. The constant fear of death is enough to take the joy out of anything, especially life. Do not worry for me or for yourself. Death will take us when it wills. Until then, we shall live. Truly live. Fair. Though that would have been more meaningful if Liliana wasn't looking at a wall. <laughs> also, yes, Verb. Nugget, despite the name, is not food. 
I would love to, sir, but it won't, it literally will not let me give you money. As you wish. I would totally do. If I could, I'd give you a sovereign. All right. I need to... Um... It's too bad I can't leave to the world map. I have to actually walk to the exit. I'll be glad if the other games just let me move to the world map if I want to. And assume I walked to the exit, but... Whatever. Alright, let's go to the circle and see if they'll let that girl study. Doodly 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 doo doo. Doodly 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 doo. Fight? Ah! Also, Ferb, let me know if anything is too quiet. I've actually turned quite a few things up. Whoa, now. Whoa, Nelly! There are werewolves fighting with the den? No, wait a minute. No, they just look like werewolves from a distance. Oh, I think all those people are dead. Yeah, I think that I can't save them. I tried, though. Uh... This journey to uh, the mage circle will also be an opportunity for you to go into your camp, talk to people, and mm, also true. Uh, and heal your head wound. Yeah, you yeah already. that's true. I'll go to the circle, talk to them, and then go to my camp. There is a gnat in front of my face. I am going to kill it. Okay, he's down there, and she's good. <laughs> Oh my god, she's just on the verge of dying no matter what I do. Shit. Nope. Did she live or did she die? Nope, she died. All the elves died. Well, that sucks. I wanted to try and save them, but I guess not. They were all dead before I actually even made my way there. Oh, poopy. We killed them so quickly, too. Too bad. Not well, time to loot everything. I need 40 money. As you wish. This should be easy enough. On it. What's on your mind? Nothing. You were in the way. It is no trouble. <laughs> I just wanted to pick up the bounty. Here we go. This should be easy enough. All right. Uh, one more. Here we go. It. That's it. And off we go. Oh nice. I need to I need to clean up some folders too. I have a new items folder where I save like new files and shit that will go into subfolders, and I have not for so long I have not actually uh <laughs> organized it and now it takes time to load. Who do you talk to? Do I talk to you? Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Thank you, Steve. Uh, 
Dagna of Ozamar wants to study magic. Ozamar, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. Mm. She is aware of this. Her interest has not waned. Fascinating. I suppose the circle should be flattered. Uh, she's willing to give up caste and clan for this. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that Yay! this will not be easy. But if she chooses it, and she is welcome here at the circle. She will live and study with the tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices when it is appropriate. She's going to be overjoyed. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. I think she'll be very interested in what happened, honestly. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? You've already done much for the circle. Now circle. you see to your duty as a great warden. Cool beans. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Awesome. Well, now we can go back and tell her that if she's really serious, they've said yes. Oh, you sent a picture to the wrong server? All right, don't worry about it. I will ignore it. You can delete it if you wish to, Ferb. Oh, a signpost. Right. I'm a quarter to the right, proving ground straight ahead. Ooh. Hi, Dagna. Same for our talk. Hello, how can I... Oh, it's you. And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. God, she's cute oh, as a button. What they said. First Enchanter Irving accepted you for study. Ancestors, bless you. I can't believe it. There hasn't even been a Dwarven Observer in the Circle since Yerelden in the 13th century. Uh, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Nothing. The mages need every ally they can get. Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. Yeah. Yay! I know her dad didn't want her to go. But I think that if that's what she's wanted for forever, and she's willing to give up literally everything for it, then if she gets accepted, she should go. You know? Alright, let's... Oh, I didn't go to the camp. Well. <laughs> That's fine. We'll talk to everybody afterwards. It's time to go to the deep roads, Mikey. It is time. Let's just make sure. I have to go to do do. And I have to do da and have to do da. So they're all in the deep roads. Cool beans. Off we it's go. It's almost this, though. This game has good quest design, and it all is guiding you to the same place. Mm. <laughs> By the way, Ferb, is he super loud? Because I turned him up nice and loud because he was very quiet in the last one. I just want to make sure because now he's loud for me. So I want to make sure he's not loud for everybody. And Ferb is a good judge of loudness. Hi. What's this? An elf? I'm sorry. Cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today.
I'm on business for Balin, and I have to find Lord Dan. Or Lord Days. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop. He's a good volume, but maybe just careful. a tad smidge loud. Cool. From Ozumar, doesn't mean <coughs> there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Mm-hmm. Actually, they've made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except to, except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm glad that Nugget is adorable. What do you know about Paragon Bronca? What anyone knows. She went out there with her entire house, and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a Paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Are the Darkspawn the only danger? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Great! Uh, deep stalkers are what? Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. I see, and there are no dwarves past this point. A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. The Legion of the Dead? It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. I see. Best of luck. All right. Let me turn you down just a nearly smidge. I'll put you from 118% to 112. There we go. That should be suitable. Am uh, I suitable? <laughs> Though all I am. Yes. Suitable. Suitable. <laughs> suitable, good sir. <laughs> says says fur. Actually, good, suitable, good er. Good -er. Well, actually, the way that they typed it, it should be suitable, good sir. Go forth right. into the deep roads. All right, cool beans. Let's go to the Adochen Kaig. That's a hideous looking whatever that is. Oh, I think we've hit combat. Possibly. Nope. We did it. All right. There's nothing over here. But lava. I'm glad that Alistair runs to catch up with me to the point that sometimes his model shoots ahead of me and then he's like, oops. Backtrack. Oh, it won't let me take a little run across the wall and then over the lump. All right, fine. We'll take this side path. Not all okay. Keyboard sometimes does not register when I hit keys. It's fine. Mine does that, too. I also have a tendency to type faster than I realize and end up swapping letters. And then I only realize after I hit enter that that's what happened. Hi! You need to die. Very big death. Good, sir. Woo! Well, at least we can, we can hurt your friends. You, go. Go! It shoots bees! Die. Woo! Just got myself killed for that. You go over here, and you move up properly. You can't shoot anything from there, and your people are dying. Oh, the thing is killing me. I'm gonna go down. Yep. Ow. Well, shit. Oh, jeez. Wake back up, me. Thank you. Yeah, I should have gone back to camp to fix all my things, but... I didn't do that, so here we are. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon. 
and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, Dizarin, Revolution 72, and A Furb Among Us. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I'd also like to give a big thank you to everyone else watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a like and a comment. Be sure to have a look at the other videos on my channel and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Links to my Patreon, Twitch, and all my other socials are in the description below the video. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!